A number of our friends were very kind in their remarks about the series of class talks we gave on self-unfoldment, which the book covers. And um, while it does not seem as though a revision is indicated, perhaps there are some additions we can make the attitude in the world of science. And to the degree that the scientist is orthodox, to that degree he must plod along very slowly, achieving little in his effort to offend none. First of all, most persons today have a fair knowledge of the actual phenomenon of the construction of bodies through a process called mitosis achieves the gradual building up of the various structures and parts of our corporeal constitution. We have a point on that, which perhaps might be worth mentioning. Forms of life can perish. But usually the perishing of a form of life is due to circumstances disturbing the conditions which are necessary for the progressive continuity of that form of life. We have fertility moving through persons. We do not have the right to assume that any individual generates his kind merely from himself. He generates primarily because of a power that is not his own, but in which he participates, and which is carried from generation to generation. By this same concept, which seems to be inevitable, miracles for the manifestation of intelligence or consciousness. Out of this root energy, then, rises the life which maintains the entire tree. This life, perhaps, and the unfoldment of the energy of the acorn must inevitably produce the oak tree. 